there's a spirit behind insurance covers. You see, where you put your faith, uh, that is what you're going to achieve. The Bible says in the book of um, Proverbs 23, verse 7, For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Okay, Whatever you think in your heart as a man, as a woman, that is who you're going to be. You think that, wow, I'm, I, I will get sick in no time, so I need to cover myself. There's a high possibility you're going to get sick. There's a high possibility the accident you're afraid of so much, you will definitely fall into it. Have you ever noticed that uh, people who do not have the money or maybe don't have the desire to take insurance covers, they rarely fall into the problems that most insured people fall into. I've seen, uh, this I'm telling you, uh, something which I've totally noticed and um, just check in your members or family, family members or friends or neighbors. Most of the people who are employed and they're on some insurance cover of some sort, they always tend to fall sick all the time and rush with their NHIF, rush with their uh, insurance cover for this and that to go and be treated on A, B, C, D. Why? Because there's something inside them which keeps on telling them the way I'm coughing, I think... I'm falling sick and since I have the cover, let me run. So instead, you see healing is in the mind. Instead of you sitting down and analyzing yourself and saying, is it really a sickness that I'm feeling or is it just something because I know I have a cover? And then most of the people go to get treatment with these covers. At the end of the day, what happens? It is one disease and another disease and another disease. And when you're treated on this, the next minute, this one brings some side effects for this, and then you're treated that side effect of this. It's a, it's a long chain of things. And you end up finding people who are not supposed even to be hospitalized. They are hospitalized. And uh, I've come to realize there's a spirit behind this because it is a spirit of fear which is being cast upon the whole world. That's why... Uh, everybody just wants to get cover for every, for everything. You want to get uh, insurance cover for your health. You want to insurance cover for your business. You're thinking that some fire might come and just, uh, you know, burn the whole shop. You want a uh, cover for your car. You want a cover for, for your farm, cover for this, cover for that. People are living a fearful life, not knowing that this is just a spirit. It is a spirit of fear which is being cast onto all the people. And um, ask yourself another simple question. Have you seen people who do not have insurance covers? Let me be precise. Like, for example, talking about health. Like people living in the villages, probably they cannot afford the cover. Those people rarely get sick. Have you ever noticed? Or maybe people living in the cities and they don't care about insurance covers. Most people don't uh, get sick that often. But people who are covered, they always have this new disease and this new disease and that new problem. And they're always rushing to India and rushing where to go and be treated over some sicknesses that you only see on newspapers. You've never heard about them. Why is it so? Because these people, they did cast their cares, not upon the Lord, but cast their cares upon an insurance policy. The Bible says in Psalms 55 verse 22, cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. All right. Where are people casting their cares, their fears? Most of the fears that people have, they are casting it upon some company to take care of their issues, some policy, some agreement somewhere. And at the end of the day, this world can never provide what you're looking for. Only God can be able to provide. And he says that he will never let the righteous be shaken. So if you have this assurance that God is going to take care of you, why are you still following, running after? <laughs> if you see people's wallets, they're always full of card for this, card for NHIF, card for NSSF, card for NWC, card for this. And that is the reason why most of the people, they have all these places where they have registered themselves even i will come and talk about circles maybe later on but have you ever noticed even circle is just some insurance policy of some sort you think that if if i give one thousand every day uh to this circle then at the end of the month they are going to give me my money in lump sum <clears throat> then i'm going to use that money to do something you don't even trust that god can give you at the end of the month, what you need, <laughs> that you can, he can give you the mind to save the money by yourself. 
you just think okay i'm going to give these guys and then they're going to give me back my money most of the people do not really understand that all this is just another mind game scam that uh, the world just wants you to go in their way and my friends when you get, get out of all these things personally myself i don't uh, i don't have any insurance policy for anything Leave alone the only mandatory ones that you have to have for like car insurance and, you know, but anything else I, I, I don't have. I don't have for medical. I don't have for anything. And I rarely get sick. And uh, I stopped getting sick the moment I stopped going to hospital. <laughs> it's just as, as easy as that. When when I people might ask me, Keith, okay, what happens when you feel uh like malaria or maybe you have headaches or anything you know i, I don't say like i i have had a fully fledged uh, sickness but sometimes you might feel maybe this or that i, I just th there are so many remedies of everything they are actually in your in your kitchen tamarind you have these you have tangerine you have you have uh, uh, onions you have these or that. there are so many remedies or things that you can do garlic and everything else and you can just use them and you're okay at the end of the day, people need to wake up and understand that most of the things that are being pushed onto you, into your mouth, they're just fake and scam. And this is not a medical advice. Please don't say, oh, this guy is giving me some medical advice. I'm just giving sharing stories. This is for educational, uh, for entertainment purposes, okay? So that the algorithms will not uh, start working on my video. But... What I wanted to tell you is that put your trust in God. Stop putting your trust in men and companies and things, all right? And he will sustain you. The Bible says in Matthew 6, verse 24, Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day, it's its own trouble. Sufficient for the day, it's its own trouble.